Welcome to ProCAD's blog tutorial. This short video covers how to print and plot with topics that include paper output and PDF output. The first topic in this tutorial is the paper output. So once we've created our drawing and now we're ready to create a paper output or a paper plot, simply go in and select the AutoCAD plot command, which will bring up the plot dialog box. If you do not see the full dialog box, it may have been turned off simply by clicking on the arrow in the lower right corner, expands and contracts the dialog. Fairly straightforward as far as plotting. You would first select your printer. In my case, I have a brother printer, so I would set my printer first. I would then set my paper size. It's just an eight and a half by 11 printer, so I leave it at the letter paper size. We could then go in and select a window, or we could set this to extents or to limits, which is set when we insert our ProCAD borders. But we'll use window and select the window and i've already pre-selected it and that is the area that will be printed we can then select what we're going to print and by default it's set at none but we can set this to monochrome for a black and white print just say yes to apply to all layouts we can also go in and tell it to center the plot and scale to fit the piece of paper and then we can actually go in and say apply to layout to save these changes go to the preview Highly recommended to do this. And what it will do is show us what the print will look like. So the white border is the paper size physically. And then our drawing is shown on the inside. Close that off, click OK, and it will send it to the printer. And if there were any errors, it would show up in the lower right corner. The last topic in the tutorial is the PDF output. Similar to the paper output, PDF output allows us to create a PDF file of our drawing instead of a paper plot. Same sequence, we select our plot command. The only thing different within the plot dialog box this time is instead of setting an actual printer, we will set this to drawing to PDF. This will now create a PDF file that we could then print at a later date or email as an attachment to a customer or client. Set the paper size, so this time I'll pick an 11 by 17. We'll leave the window alone, but we could pick a new window, the limits or the extents. Center the plot fit the paper, set it to monochrome to get a black and white print, apply to the layout to save these changes for the next time we open the drawing, we'll preview it. Again, the white border is the actual 11 by 17 piece of paper, and then our drawing is shown scaled to fit as large as possible within that paper boundary. Close it off, click OK, and about the only thing different is it will now ask you for a location for the PDF file. I'll save mine to my desktop, and then click Save. So it will create the PDF file and open it for your review. And there is a preview of the PDF file. At this point, we could print it or we could send it as an attachment to an email. Once we're done, close it off. We're back to our drawing. Save my drawing and we're done. This concludes the topics covered in the printing plotting tutorial. Please review this tutorial at any time. Be sure to check out the full series of ProCAD software tutorials available 24-7 on our website.